NEW INFORMATION ABOUT A BURGLARY SHOOTING OVERNIGHT. IT LEFT ONE PERSON DEAD AND ANOTHER IN CRITICAL CONDITION. KBC 9'S BRIAN JOHNSON IS LIVE IN THE 2200 BLOCK OF ELLISON WAY IN INDEPENDENCE WITH THE VERY LATEST. BRIAN? Yeah, this is the home where that burglary shooting happened. You can see police have taken the tape down. If we zoom in on the door, you can see all that dust that's left over when police search for fingerprints as they were searching to figure out who all was involved in this. Now, today, police are saying that the victim is in critical condition at a local hospital and that a suspect is dead. Neighbors say the person that is dead is a 16 year old boy who they say they knew. The shooting happened last night around 11.30, 11 11.22. PM. Since then, police have been questioning people in several homes about that cover a two or three block area in this neighborhood, two blocks uh, from where we are. In fact, they are still talking to people over there. We spoke with a neighbor who was showing us her yard, uh, who had blood in her backyard. She is one of several people devastated by this tragedy. I had no idea this was going to happen. I wish it never happened. I wouldn't want that to happen to anybody, especially a child. You can see the crime tape is still here. Now, this remains very much an active scene, even though the crime tape has been taken down about two blocks from here. Police are actively searching a home uh, that where they say the weapon might be, and so they are looking through that. A lot of police have been on all of the blocks throughout the day, even closing some businesses for this morning. That's what we're learning now. Reporting live in Independence, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. And police are not saying if they are still searching for other suspects involved, and they have not released the name of the people involved.